Lots of people want to know, okay, there's many claimants to the truth. Islam claims to be true. Christianity claims to be true. Judaism claims to be true. Hinduism, Buddhism, they all claim to be true. How do I tell what's really true? Well, here's the first mistake that a lot of people make. They assume that since all of them claim that they're true, that none of them are true. That doesn't logically follow, right? Just the fact that multiple things claim to be true does not necessitate that all of them are false. Yes, it's possible all of them could be false, but one of them could also be true, right? And then the second thing I would advise to people is have a very open and honest conversation with yourself. How would you know? Think for what your criteria would be. How would we even begin to evaluate and assess different claimants to metaphysical truth? How would we distinguish between a genuine communication from the divine and a phony one, a made up one, a fabricated one? You start asking these questions, right? And if you have no interest in this question or these questions, then you're not necessarily being very sincere. You're not necessarily asking these questions in good faith. Um, if you are serious about those questions and you take them as serious, then you know that's that's the path. You're barking up the right tree. Okay. How would we know that? some book is preserved. Okay. There's manuscript evidence. There's oral traditions. You know, you have to get into the weeds a little bit. Okay. Uh, how would we know that a certain text, if we can prove sort of epistemologically that it is preserved and it's authentic, okay. Is there any sort of thing in the text itself that would indicate whether it's a genuine revelation, communication from the divine or not? Well, what would we expect from a creator? Would we expect a coherent, cohesive sort of missive or, uh, uh, you know, epistle, some sort of communication that has a structure that's clear, has a singular, you know, authorial voice? Or would we, we expect multiple voices, different sort of prints of different authors and things like that? Contradictions, right? Like, yeah, we can talk about it. We can talk about what would we expect a genuine communication from the divine to look like. And if you go through that, and that's for you to do, not me, because I've already done it for myself, I think that nothing can compare to a snap.